Hello and welcome. Uh, I want to record this new video from the Wrinkle Weeper action set and I want to show you how we can transform this image into something like this. Uh, we will be using the texture cloner part of the action set. Um, maybe this is the first video you are watching about this action set or maybe this is the first time you are watching um, a video from me using the texture cloner. There is different ways to use it. Let me delete this first so we can have a good start from scratch. Um, we have different ways to use this part of the action set. In this case, we wanna. I want to show you one way to use this and especially for this type of images, when we need to delete or make more subtle wrinkles or shadows or imperfections in a dress like this, where we have a lot of texture, I think this is the best approach uh, for a solution. It's not the only one, but I think it's the more um, easy to follow. There are a few steps, yes, that's true, but also it's pretty easy to follow. So this is why I want to record this video. The first, um, the first step in this case, instead of using like every time one, then two, then three, will be use the five section of this action set. In this case, I will use the five C. And there is a reason, I want to use the option which removes more, um, the, most of the texture or all the texture in the image. And the reason of this is I want to preserve all this texture and some of the imperfections in one layer. So doing this, if I turn off the texture cloner layer, what we can see is all the wrinkles, all the shadows, all the imperfections and none of the texture of this dress. And this is what we want for this kind of work. So let's assume or let's imagine that this is our main issue, the wrinkles or the imperfections. And we can save all the texture of this dress in this layer. So let me close this so it's more clean. And now we will start working this dress as a non-textural dress. And once we done this part of the work, we will come back for the texture. So let's try to split the work in two stages. One will be for treat this as a flat non-textural dress, and then we will approach a solution for the other part of the problem. So now we do have something without texture, like every time. Um, and now we will start working as every time with this action set. Step one, step two, if you feel it's necessary, step three, depending. In, if we do work in this way, maybe the step three, there is no much sense using it because we will have the texture in the other layer, so there is no case of using it. So, as we done in other videos, let's go with these steps and let's see how it looks. Remember when we work pretty close to the edges or the place where the areas where we have a lot of contrast, maybe it's tight space uh, action, the best call. In this case, I want to do something sort of fast. All right. Um, okay, let's assume we are happy uh, removing the, some of the wrinkles. And now let's go with um, the option, uh, the second step. And we will paint in here something like this. Remember what we just talked about, uh, the edges. Okay, let's do something like this. By the way, I painting like 
at 100% and sometimes this is just not the best call. We could decrease a little more the opacity to be more subtle. Um, let me see how it looks. Okay, it's going in a good direction. Um, let me use the tight spaces for one or two areas. Like this, for example. And especially this. All right, let's take a look to a before and after. I will group all the wrinkle work so we could have a faster before and after. Okay, we have done something good in here. And now let's move to the texture part of the work. I will reopen the texture cloner group and I will move the texture layer to the top. I will turn on this layer and as you can see now what we have is less imperfections or less uh, wrinkles and shadows and we do have all the texture preserved. Now what we need to do is just select the clone stamp in the texture layer and start cloning. That's all. Remember to select um, a similar texture. The good part of this is you will not clone um, colors or shadows, all you will clone is the texture. And this is what we want for this part of the work. Let me do something for this brush because it's being sort of laggy because I'm recording the screen. So let me try to This is what I want, not this one. I will increase the spacing a little more so we will um, we will stress a little less the video card. Again, all this part of the work is pretty much this. Um, select, select the texture you want to clone and paint over. Uh, you can use different uh, tools for this. For me, in these cases, the fastest way is just you use the clone stamp tool. Um, we send a um, clone stamp tool with the actions with the... Um, I'm sorry, uh, we send the um, clone stamp tool with some settings, so this will be easier for, for you to use. Um, so let me remove this and maybe something of this. Okay, pretty much. For make this even easier to see, I will move this inside this big group with all. And let me let me show you a quick before and after.
Sorry. Next step in here will be using the sparkly rewrite. I want to increase a little more all the bright of this part. As you can see, we do have all the texture, all the original texture, but I want to increase this a little more. So I will use the rewrite action. And after run the action, I will paint just with a white brush in the layer mask as every time. Okay. And this is how it looks, the image. Now, let me go a little far away to show you the difference. Okay, I think this is all. Um, a different way to use uh, the texture cloner. So you have a new tool uh, for your maternity dresses. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Um, bye bye.